So we had one of our first double cut performances. And this one is especially important to look at because the game was unraveling. So teams in general tend to do more poorly um, with cognitive or mental uh, mistakes when the game is unraveling. So this is Owen's wonderful double, well, bad for us, wonderful for him, um, double uh, with bases loaded. So we get to evaluate double cut performance with runner on first, which is exactly what this is. So we can ignore the runner on third and second. They aren't important. So let's go one at a time um, and evaluate each person's performance, starting with second base. So once he hits the bomb, second base needs to realize, oh, he's not going to catch it, that we need to get over and form the tandem cut or double cut. And this is great. He's going up to form that chain with the uh, lead cut. Nice job. And in this case, the throw is long uh, by accident. And that is exactly why the trail cut is there. It's specifically for that purpose to collect uh, errant throws. And then the throw into home. Now, I don't even care if the throw is good or bad. What I really want to make sure is that everybody just gets in the right positions. And then you can worry about the like execution from those positions. But I think this gives us a high ceiling um, in our baseball. So let's take a look at shortstop performance, which we kind of see. Shortstop realizes that it's a double. He goes into the outfield, and he gets on a pretty good line. A little bit to the too much to our right. The camera's right. Maybe a little bit to the left might have been a little better. But uh, yeah, no more or less on line. We can kind of see the left fielder over there. Um, and that forms a line between where it's fielded and home. So that's good. Um, he let the errant throw through which is what you should do. And nice job on shortstop. Now let's take a look at pitcher. Pitcher actually kind of has a tricky job here. Um, so let's actually, let's go to first base because first base is the next really key because first base is the cutoff guy. Um, so once it's read as a double, first base needs to hustle over to the cut spot, which is roughly on a line between where the ball is fielded and thrown. So roughly in the correct position, but we could kind of see that the line that the first baseman is too far to our camera right, that he needs to be a little bit over camera left. So roughly in the correct location, it wasn't like um, just sat there and didn't know what to do and observed everybody else make the play. But the, the thing that needed improvement right here is that this runner that's going to second base over here, the hitter, we need to always fake like we're going to catch that guy. And you can see that that ball is red is uncuttable. And then that runner goes. He might have gone anyway, but that's because we weren't able to collect the ball at home for whatever reason. So, um, yeah, it's very important that we look at that runner. So our chest needs to be facing that runner and you need to always make sure that you're like, I'm going to catch this ball and get you out. So um, let's go to pitcher performance. So pitcher performance on this. All right. Oh, shoot. Gave up the bomb. What do we do now? The, the pitcher, because there is a play at three and a play at home with the primary being at home, the pitcher needs to discern let me go back here. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to do it. Discern where the play is going to be. So Ian does a very good job going, okay, this play is not at third. It's going home. So he goes roughly in the correct area that the pitcher should be in this play. The only problem is we're not quite on a line. So if there is a pass ball right here, which no, kind of wasn't, but um, we need to be more close to where this next batter is over on the right hand side so and really far back like against the fence we're not going to be able to be the backup and then somehow make the play that just didn't happen we're just our job is to get that runner from advancing to third so generally pretty good there um let's look at third base really quick third base performance oh shoot gave up a bomb third base responsibility is very good here or very easy um, good job staying out of the runner's way. And then we just need to be straddling the bag right here, ready for the tag. And we can see this ooh, going back here. 
Oh man, totally don't know how to use a phone. Um, let me skip ahead. We played it like a first baseman, which I don't really like for this scenario. Which is, ah, oh, I can't get it. You basically put your foot on the bag and stretched. That makes it very difficult to make a tag in that scenario. Whereas if you are straddling the bag, let's look right here. If you're straddling the bag, the tag comes very easy. There was no throw. It didn't matter. But these are the things that do matter, like all added up, like these little things that I'm mentioning, not just that. Now, let's look at catcher performance. Um, I can't hear or cut for or anything, but this is something that I've been meaning to address is that anytime that we're ready to take a throw at home, we want to be in front of the bag. Um, kind of with our chest towards them. This is too far behind. So, I mean, the ball can hit them, which I think it did. I think that's why we didn't come up with it. Yeah, the ball hit him. Um, so we want to be in front so we can get to it. And then the glove kind of tags over to your left-hand side and slightly backwards. So that's an area for some uh, uh, some improvement. Was alert that the throw is going there, so that's good. And probably a nice idea to just stop the bleeding and, and not make the throw there. So those are the primary things. The only thing here is left field performance. Left field did fine. Left field got to the ball very quickly and made the throw in good time. Um, just make sure to try and hit the lead cut because lead cut has the best arm over on that side being the shortstop. Um, yeah, but uh, fine there. The only thing with center field performance, let's take a look at center field performance. Center field needs to go over look how everybody look how our entire team is running over to the side of where the plate is and then center field is just kind of like well that stings you know left field could fall flat on their face they could trip it was you know maybe a wet day or whatever we need to be there in case you know something goes down um and get the ball and then right field performance right field was a statue uh remember that we could have a rundown with the runner that hit the ball. So as he rounds, if Patrick cuts the ball, it's actually the right fielder that needs to cover second base. But we have not covered that at all, so I don't blame you for not doing it. I don't even know who's out there, if it's Jason or whatnot. So it's no fault of yours, because second base is unoccupied. Um, but always remember, the general rule is run towards the infield if the play doesn't even conceivably involve you. So overall, I give this a B, especially given the context. So kind of like pretty good. I am not seeing many teams do this. And even though it didn't really work to our advantage right here, there's a few like little individual technical execution things that we could have improved on. Everybody kind of roughly got in the correct space. And, I, and as I just said, I don't see many teams doing that zero teams. I'm not talking about our league or the people that were playing. I'm saying I watch a lot of little league baseball and this is good. So there's, there's, you know, a lot of positives and some learning opportunities to take out of this double cut.